if I learn something new. Hi guys, and welcome back to some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. We are back with another weekly challenge, one and done. Now, I did miss last week. I was uh, in Japan for a week last week for a mate's bucks party. I had an absolute blast, and uh, but now I'm back and up for another weekly challenge. Uh, this one is on restricted section, so if you've played this map before, uh, you will know this layout that I'm doing. It uh, works quite well in the survival mode as well. If you haven't done this one before, uh, this method can work pretty well, or at least this pathing can work pretty well um, if you uh, are trying to do it on survival as well. Now you can path them around uh, either way, um, I think with Zoe's book, it's probably maybe a little bit easier to path them on this way. But I think there's more exploders come out of this right door from memory. So I've loaded a few more traps over on that side. Um, basically, they're going to run around here and then down there. We'll probably path them past the other guardian spot as well and pop in our priest guardian at some point. Not straight away. Not straight away. We should be okay for the uh, first wave or two. Now, as I said, I was in Japan uh, last week, so there was no video or uh, um, well, no Orcs video, but no other videos up. Uh, I didn't get a chance to put up um, like some scheduled ones, but uh, coming back now, hopefully going to add some more content to the channel. I'm probably going to drop the orcs back to once a day uh or sorry once a week not once a day uh well, once a week uh as well as put in um probably hero academy 2 once a week and then i've got a bunch of extra uh content that i want to put up as well um coming back um i've just modded my 3DS, I've been meaning to do that for quite a while, so I've finally got around to modding that. Um, so I'm really excited to hopefully add some 3DS titles to the channel. Um, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, so that's going to be pretty awesome, I hope you guys enjoy it when that content comes out. I've got a little bit of further testing and set up to uh, actually get it in place and get it all set up. Uh, but as soon as it is, it'll be uh, dropping some new 3DS titles on the channel. And I'm, I'm super pumped. I hope you guys are excited for them as well. I've got some titles I haven't started playing yet, which I'm uh, really looking forward to adding in. As well as um, maybe some modded titles as well. Now that I've got it, uh, got the 3DS modded, I can always add some modded games in there too, which I never have actually done before, so I'm pretty excited to check out some new content with all you guys. Um, I'm also really looking forward to adding in a, uh, a bunch of new PC games as well coming up. So the content for Orcs and the content for Hero Academy might be a bit slower. Uh, to come out. I still do have a bunch of challenges to do on Hero Academy and I've still got plenty to do on Orcs Must Die as well. I know it's not as popular at the moment and not as many people are playing it which is a bit of a shame because I still like the game um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to uh, add some new content new content in and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if there is any content that you guys would like to see feel free to drop a comment down below. I do have some ideas on some upcoming games and content that I'm going to add uh, very soon, which I'm super pumped for. Um, but yeah, feel free to drop any comments down below as well. Um, I'd love to get into some Fortnite again. Um, it's been quite a while since I've played that. I actually really enjoy the game. I'm just trying to find time to play it. Uh, it can sometimes be a little difficult. Um, so I'd love to get that back in rotation. Um, what else? Uh, as I said, yeah, 3DS games. Um, I've got some Pokemon games uh, that I haven't played yet. Um, Ultra Sun, uh, which I've actually bought, but haven't actually started playing yet. And uh, since coming from back from Japan, I'm super pumped to get back into Pokemon. 
Um, I bought a bunch of stuffed toys uh, from the Pokemon Center over there. A bunch of plushies, which are pretty cool. Um, and got them set up uh, in the apartment now. I'm super excited to uh, get back into some of those games. And I thought, uh, might as well get you guys involved as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, enjoy the gameplay for it as well. Um, so probably going to drop that in. Uh, what else I'm going to drop in yet? I'm not 100% sure 3DS uh, wise. Um, I know Pokemon definitely is going to be one. Um, but if you got any other ideas, um, let me know. And I'll, I'll look at trying to add them in. It's trying to find time and also uh, trying to make sure that, you know, I get a finish off a series or finish off all the challenges in a game and stuff like that. Um, I've also bought some new PC title games, um, some really old school games that I used to play, so I'm really excited to add them into the mix as well. Um, I'm not going to drop too much detail now, I want to be a little bit of a surprise, um, but either way I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy the surprise when it does drop and come out. So make sure you are subbed if you enjoy my content, and I'm, I appreciate it greatly if you are, uh, you are a sub. Um, yeah, make sure you do if you want to. If you want to know what's coming up next, as I said, I'm going to keep it a little bit of a surprise at the moment. But uh, Pokemon definitely will be one that uh, will be coming very soon. Um, I'm just playing around with setting up some of the settings and stuff for it. Um, it's pretty much ready to go, but I'm trying to get the quality as best as possible before I uh, start making videos and stuff on it. But shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too much longer for those in the next few weeks, I would say. Okay, now I started to prep some of the some of the walls down here already, um, which is what I wanted to do. I'm gonna pop that there and that there. Very nice. Just getting some of this stuff prepped early. Really helps out here. Now, I know I did uh, Zoe on the weekly challenge just before I went away, but, you know, her in restricted section with her book and stuff, it all just kind of fits really nicely. I feel like this map suits her quite well. So, uh, I'm just going to pop that in there too. Okay, very nice. Let's do that. She can change skills. And she is one of my favorite heroes, so whenever I get a chance to play her, um, I always look forward to it. Ooh, what's this guy trying to sneak up and uh, get some cheeky kills here? Okay, let's just put an R there as well. Okay, very nice. Okay, so far so good. Final wave, we've got about three minutes to go, so it should be plenty of time to get this victory. Um, should be okay. Um, we are going to have to deal with that rift though. Where is it in this time around? It's in the center. Okay, oh, just make sure these pesky runners don't get through here. Let's put up a few more ballistas as well. Okay, things are going pretty well so far. Oh, got some more pesky runners coming in. Really got to focus them because they can sometimes uh, run over your traps there. Um, we've got our guardian slowing things down nicely down here and actually taking out the boss for us as well. Very nice. That was a pretty good victory. An awesome five star there. Not the best of scores, but we still got that 5-star. I hope you enjoyed the Redo Zoe run. I will drop links down below to all the previous runs I've done with this weekly challenge as well. If you want to check out one of the other heroes, not much has changed in this weekly challenge since last time I've done it. So go check those out. Make sure you sub to get notified when uh, some of this new content will be dropping as well. If you guys enjoyed the video as well hit that thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated and hope to catch you all in the rift.